compared to what we're going to watch, we don't really think much of Netflix as a service. Which is why when it drops error codes on us randomly, it becomes a real hassle. My name is Yadullah, you're watching Candido Technology and in this video we're talking about the Netflix error code M7399 and how you can fix it. If you're using Netflix and you run into the M7399 error code, don't be worried, it's actually an age-old problem that has tons of fixes available. Uh, the first thing that you have to do is head over to your browser and uh, we're going to check uh, the internet connection that we're running so uh, i'm heading over to uh, what's called fast.com you can choose any website of your liking uh, so as you can see it's not the fastest uh, connection in the world but it's still pretty quick to run netflix so internet connection is not a problem Now next up, uh, you're going to have to try and delete your browser data to see if that can kick things back into action. To do that, head over to the three dots in the top right and in here we're going to go to settings. This will launch up edge settings and now I'm going to click on privacy search and services. In here, scroll down a little and you will see delete browsing data uh, options. So we are going to click on this button which is right in front of clear browsing data now choose what to clear and now it will give you a pop-up where you can see everything that you have to delete so uh, just select all time and make sure that uh, cookies browsing history cached images and files or at least cookies and cached images are now selected once you're done with that click the clear now button uh, let the browser do its work the process is more or less the same in Google Chrome as well, except there is a more direct option there. So uh, once you're done clearing the browser, restart it and then come back to Netflix to see if the error has been resolved. Next up, it's also very important to actually check for storage issues because uh, as you might not know, Netflix actually needs at least 100 MB space on your device to be able to playback videos properly now to do that we will uh, head over to windows settings by pressing windows key plus i give it some time to load uh, okay in here we're going to head over to system we are going to storage and now you can see your entire windows c storage drive right here so this will show you uh, how much space you have left, how, what is taking up what space. So make sure you have enough space. Uh, in any case, you shouldn't drop down your Windows Drive to uh, less than what I already have here. So make sure that you have enough space on your device when you're trying to play. Another part that you need to be aware of uh, is using a VPN. If you're using a VPN for Netflix, there is a good chance that it can cause problems for uh, in terms of content copyright restrictions and things like that and Netflix can throw up some random errors. So make sure that you're not using a VPN. As you can see here, I do not have any VPNs active. I'm just connected to my Wi-Fi network right here and it's all ready and stable. Another option that you have uh, in this regard is to disable hardware acceleration on your browser. Now, this will negatively impact your browser's performance, but it can help resolve such issues with Netflix. Now, to do that, just uh, head over to the three dots again, go all the way down to settings. Okay, so we are just going to head over to system and performance, uh, which is right here. And in here, you will see this uh, use graphics acceleration when enable slider, uh, when available slider. Uh, if this slider is enabled, then uh, of course uh, it's going to use hardware acceleration and this is what we're going to disable once again this will negatively affect your browser's performance but it will make it uh, it will make the software errors like the error code that you're seeing go away so disable the slider restart your browser and then try again Another potential solution to the problem can be that the fact uh, that DRM isn't enabled on your browser. So to fix this, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the flags section of our browser. Uh, this command, by the way, works on any Chromium browser that you're using. Uh, so if, uh, for example, if you're on Chrome, this will just get changed to Chrome 
or um, if you're on let's say uh, arc this will become arc or whatever chromium browser you're using just put the name there press enter uh, in most cases just chrome uh, colon slash slash flags will also work now in here we are going to search for drm and uh, uh, make sure that play ready drm for windows uh, is set to enable so uh, it might be set to default uh, on your system already but uh, we're just going to go ahead and set it to enable so it makes sure that any play ready content description module uh, that is drm focused will be able to run on edge or whatever browser that you're using of course you'll have to restart your browser once you've made the change as you can see so uh, just click on the restart button your browser will shut down and restart again and uh, the flag will be active now so now uh, if you try and go back to netflix it should be working just fine without any issues and yeah it all seems to be working fine can't really show you a show here but uh, you're pretty much good to go Uh, finally, if this doesn't work, your only option is to switch to another browser until you find one that's working for you. Browsers can run into bugs and software issues every now and then, so it's very normal for an error like this to come up. If the issues given, uh, if the solutions that I gave you did not work, your best bet is to go ahead and switch to another browser. That's as simple as a solution can get, and that's everything that you can do to get rid of this Netflix error. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon, and tell us in the comments below if there are any such content that we can make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website, candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and we'll see you in the next video.